There was heavy security presence within and around the university. Local leaders had threatened to disrupt the graduation ceremony for the over 4,000 graduates to demand the posting of a Kalenjin to the institution as vice chancellor. The recent appointment of Professor Laban Ayero as acting VC has not gone down well with the region's political leaders. Ayero, who has said he will face the challenge ahead on, participated in his first major event as the head of their institution. And the stakeholders who are out there in the national and regional government to enhance the greatness of Moy University and not to undermine it. The statement was meant for the leaders who stormed the university on Wednesday with an intent of ejecting the newly posted vice chancellor who is a lawyer. To thank you very much the leaders of Was Wasingishu County for accepting this graduation to go on because I wish to say that uh, it was a great mistake because Masai Mara University where I came from there are no even teachers, lecturers from Maasai, the vice chancellor to the two test teachers are from this county. And they are not from locals. Amid the storm, Professor Ayero has remained calm and firm, saying that he will keep his eyes on the ball. And so the 32nd graduation ceremony here at Moi University ends smoothly. This in contrast to the struggles facing this institution of higher learning as it transits from Professor Mibe's tenure as a VC. Luis Wangoi, NTV, Kesses at the Moi University main campus in the county of Owasin Gishu.